Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly spirit reading going into April. So the first one going into April, um, yeah. So I am telling you as I set up the cards that sometimes, I don't think I ever share this, but whenever I'm about to do a reading, it's like I, I never know what I'm going to say in the beginning of the reading. And I just leave myself open, almost like, okay, I'm going to be doing a reading soon, so let me know what you want me to say in the beginning kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, this is what cracked me up so much. All I heard was, it's an old school song, but can you feel it? Dun, 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 dun. It was some kind of house music kind of thing from years ago. Can you feel it? And it was, can you feel it supporting, to support your engines, to support your engines. So this is something like, uh, can you feel it? Like this help, the support, to support your engines. And when I heard to support your engines, it was almost like now I'm flashing on the little red, what was that story? The little red engine that could, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can. So there's something like a switch of like help, support where it's, you know, you can. And also this increase in help, in support, in almost like starting revving your engines again. So whether this is a new fire, a new love, a new, um, passion a, a reset or a restart or a kickstart um so yeah so between that so can you feel it and support for your engines support for your engines like to keep going to accomplish things as the honk just uh, happened but like i said that's like kind of a recurring feeling uh, going into april where you could see a kickstart or literally something supporting your engine and I just thought that was so beautiful. And can you feel it? So you're going to feel like, feel like more support, feel a kickstart of your fire or even determination to do things or get things done or to go forward. And that's just been the motto and recurring message in the last couple of readings that I've done. So there's something extra where you're going to feel that. And it almost like that little red engine that could, where we might've been chugging along being like, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, but something extra is kicking in where it's like, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. And yeah, I mean, I just share what I get if that's helpful or if that means anything to you, definitely trust your own intuition besides what I say. We'll tap into the six decks and always, always check out the uh, first pin comment will be for me. After I finish the video, I'll look up the number of the video and I'll put the angel number message for whatever the length of this video ends up to be. And it's usually further support but it's a regular, um, a, a repeating message that, um, you know, can you feel it? Can you feel that little bit of extra help or support or something that's su to support your engine, to literally support your engine? Uh, yeah, I mean, I do personally because left to my own devices. Um, yeah, I mean, I probably, you know, you'll feel that. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. We're going to tap into the Archangel messages for the journey, the energy we're dealing with going Going into April for the first week, we're going to tap into the goddess guidance. We're going to tap into what to surrender to make it easier. We're going to tap into messages from heaven, loved ones passed on our spirit guides, and we're going to end it with guardian angels. And I feel like we're going to get a, guard, a lot of guardian angel messages. You could feel that you're almost protect. Oh, for a second, I thought something turned over that there's like a sense of protection. Uh, uh, I also want to say, and, um, yeah. All right. Let's get into it. So we're going to tap into the Archangel messages for the first week of April. I think it's going to be April 3rd. What is the journey going to feel like? What should we hold in our minds and hearts? How we can feel supported and like your engine, that's support for your engine um, to get things done, to keep going forward and that extra support. There's something about feeling. Can you feel it? So it's going to be I haven't heard that song probably in decades. I think that's from the 90s. Can you feel it? So, yep, support for your engines. Let's see, what are the messages for the first week of April? What wants to come through for our minds and hearts? Oh, right away. Oh, oh gosh. There's a, yeah, I knew that card wanted to come out. So already, I think, oh gosh, yep supporting your engines to get things done and it's going to bring in more happiness 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to read like a sentence because I saw this card came up first. Two of Michael. Here's the four of Ariel, the eight of Ariel, and the ten of Raphael. So again, Raphael is coming out. And if you didn't see the Akashic Records reading for April, uh, we literally had the first card was Archangel Raphael. And then a lot of people were commenting that Archangel Raphael card really means a lot to them. And you could feel that you're getting a lot of love and support and like healing or some kind of like they said, can you feel it? We're supporting your engine in a way that is helping you to bring in more love, more healing, more of everything that you want in your life. And you're going to feel that within you and it's bringing it in the tangible as well. So that's the result. So there were times with here that we were kind of butting heads like at a we, we were, like they said, I think I can, I think I can, but now something's happening where you know you can. But this is when we were kind of like not understanding what decision to make. We could have been going back and forth in our minds about things and not sure about things. And this is all to bring in more stability and security and to do the work. So there's something where they're getting us out of, we when it came to our finances, stability, abundance, uh, what we're building now, um, how to f create more abundance for ourselves. We could have really been like going back and forth in our minds a lot about it because they're saying, Archangel Michael's saying it will all be better if you just make a decision. You're overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. This is all to do with your stability, your security. Usually that's the card in the tower where he's holding onto his coins, where you feel like, but this is all what you give, you also receive. This is being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. And this is the angels telling you to focus on your work and do the work, which is the repeating message as well, that it's us. Stop overanalyzing problems, going back and forth in your mind. It's time to move forward and get out of this lock here. And this is in all regards to our stability, our growth, our abundance to do the work. And you're gonna find that something was happening within us, and this is Archangel Raphael, this healing, whether we step in more to just focus and do the work that's necessary to address this and get out of our minds with this. And that act, that work itself is bringing in more abundance and more happiness to us. And here it says, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. You're bringing more of that in, and what's helping is wherever we were going back and forth so much over analyzing in our minds, probably even stressing or so caught up with the finances and the abundance and everything else, the angels are guiding us to just focus right this has been a repeating message too at the matter at hand in the present moment and do your work just focus on the work because this is saying take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect considering getting additional training education this card is all about staying focused on the physical and doing the work these are two physical cards so where there were concerns going back and forth in your mind about things in the physical to create more abundance, stability, finances, all of that security. They're saying do the work. And what you're having help in is bringing more happiness in. So they are literally helping you to kind of get out of the stalemates or going back and forth so much to really put out more, do the work, because it's going to bring in more happiness. It's been a repeating message. But like they said, can you feel it? We're supporting you. We are supporting you as you do the work. Like, can you feel it? So where you're like, I think I can, I think I can, when it came to, you know, bringing in more happiness, bringing in more stability, security, bringing in more abundance of what you need, bringing this card in. Yes, the angels are providing you with that extra. And that was what was coming through in the Akashic in April too. They're providing you that extra that you need to focus and do the work and the physical to, to do that. They're helping you to get out of the stalemate. So they're going back and forth in your mind to bring this in. So yeah, do, keep doing the work, keep doing the work. And they're, like they said, can you feel it? We're, we're, what did they say? We're, we're the support for your engine. Whatever's keeping you going and lit, see the light lit to do the work. They're giving that to you. And it's bringing in more happiness. It's helping with you with your you know, what you're giving out, what you're pouring out in your work is going to come back. Here's what you give, you also receive, and here it comes in. So you're doing the work. You're doing the work and you're getting out of anywhere where there were stalemates, you couldn't make a decision, you're going back and forth in your mind. It's They're supporting your engine to stay lit, do the work, and it's bringing it in 
and um, that's what they're doing. Can you feel it? We're supporting your engine and it's to do the work. And here's the action. Aligned action to your cornucopia. Aligned, it's literally getting out it. See the horses were conflicting, not making the moves, going back and forth in your mind. This is act, aligned action. Those horses are now aligned and moving, taking action. Yes, to the cornucopia angel of balance i have chills 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 so this is what you're gonna feel like didn't they say we're supporting your engine this is the action the aligned engine going forward they're keeping you lit to make do the work and take those actions aligned actions to your cornea cornucopia this is quite literally this card. This is happiness. This is what you want to bring more in. This is abundance. This is happiness. So they are showing you the aligned action to your happiness right now. That is what they're doing. So the work and the action to this. They're helping you to embody this angel of balance. Now, this is keeping your balance. So this is when we're going back and forth too much in our mind, but this is when you're illuminated and you're keeping your emotions in check, right? And you're very intuitive and they're having you embody more of an angel of balance, taking those action steps to bring in more happiness to your cornucopia. That's the energy. So where there was no movement or too much in your mind about things, this is just doing the work and going in and bringing this in. I mean, that's what they're supporting. So they're bringing this. and. Archangel Raphael, it's almost like the balance, the work that you're doing, it's bringing, this is extremes in how you save and save, um, save and get your, your abundance, your cornucopia, right? This is concerns about money and abundance, but we're even, our actions and our work are even bringing greater balance to that. That's what I'm getting, you see? So it's bringing in more abundance. So that is part of the healing. That's part of the, what they were saying in the Akashic Records. It's like, it's doing the healing within you to actually bring the healing in situations also the outpouring the action steps that's bringing actually bringing in more happiness and cornucopia they're healing whatever was in your mind going back and forth so much so that you're actually doing the work taking the action bringing in more abundance bringing in more happiness um so it's so within so without kind of thing um let's get the uh goddess guidance now so this is really doing the work to bring the work and the action to bring in more happiness um yeah, that's what I'm getting. And it's bringing you out of the stalemates. It's bringing you out of not making a decision, overanalyzing, stressing. Yeah, they're telling you uh, it's time to move forward and take that action and do the work. Okay, number one, goddess guidance, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your batteries. What did they say? We are supporting your engines. We're supporting your batteries to take to be lit and do the work and take the this forward aligned action for your cornucopia bringing in this happiness so anything that's recharging you along the way to stay lit as you do the work you're also going to feel that's what i was talking about about that archangel raphael is somehow doing this love support backing of the angels includes Archangel Raphael that came out in the Akashic Records. There's, they're helping you. If this is an analogy to um, support your engines, it's supporting the battery. Like um, I'm getting like solar power. To keep you lit. They're keeping you lit to do the work and to take the action steps to bring in more happiness. So anything that, if you need a recharge of your batteries, a relight your battery, relight your fire, relight that to keep, stay charged um, and doing those action steps to bring in more happiness, that's how they're they're keeping you. So if you need to be by bodies of water, you need a time out, think, doing things that recharge your batteries. This has been going, this is a repeating message. Also, it helps you to retain your balance and stay lit. Um, so they're helping you on uh, many ways. And this could be bringing in things that actually, I mean, the last couple of spirit messages tips was all about bringing home to you. What does keep you in this balance? What does keep you lit? Like that's not wasted time that you're doing that. Like, I think I did that spirit message tip about your piece of heaven, your piece of heaven right here, or um, there were a couple of things where it could bring, bring home to you things that you think you have to sacrifice when you're doing this action steps to bring in more happiness and doing the work. Like, you don't have time to do that. Um, like, you, you won't have time to do it. Oh, yes, you have time to do that because it keeps you lit. So there are things that um, you could do in your spare time that keeps you more lit. Also, doing the work and the action steps that's bringing you more abundance, more happiness, Paving, that still paves the way to your cornucopia, um, keeps you lit and you're following this right to your happiness and more abundance. So yeah, they're having you come out of this 
overstressing, going back and forth in your mind. This is really focused on your abundance, your security, you, all of that. But what you're pouring out is bringing in more of that and bringing in more of the happiness. So what they're healing within you is do everything that keeps you lit, fired up, do your work, hold your balance. And that in itself is actually bringing balance to those situations and you're bringing the healing. You're bringing the influx of happiness and everything else. So yeah, it's getting out of that those stalemates, butting heads, thinking, overthinking, and taking that aligned action to bring more happiness in. They're like they. I love that the angels are right behind you as you're doing your work because very much so feel that love support backing as you're doing that work and stay lit doing the work in the physical and you're going to feel like like they said can you feel it so when you're in the physical doing the work can you feel that can you feel that added support that's keeping you lit to do that work to bring in the more abundance to actually take those action steps um that's what i'm getting from this reading so let's see what we can uh surrender to make it easier as we're doing the work to bring in more happiness more abundance taking those action steps to to that abundance and you have a lot of love support backing and can you feel it because you're going to feel more lit to do to bring it in to take those action steps more lit to do the work um to leap out of this yeah surrender the procrastination could they make it any clearer could they make it any clearer yes here step out of that indecision going back and forth procrastinating this is aligned action steps going going right to the feel like keep these horses going so they're going right to your cornucopia this is the ten of raphael that is bringing telling you you're bringing that in um but it's the work you know this is not proof this is you staying lit doing the work so that's why can you feel it they're keeping you lit to do this movement action work now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success action taking this action is leading to success your cornucopia love and blessings coming in so this is going to be a time of the work of the action it's like what is that when they the the snap when they're like um action <laughs> you know, is it time you're like a movie clip with a snap board? It's time for action. It's time to jump on these goals. Don't put it off. Taking attraction, uh, taking action will attract success. It's it's bringing that to you. Like they said, what you give, you also receive. So pouring it out, doing the work, doing the actions. It's bringing in your cornucopia. It's bringing in your happiness. It's bringing in the balance, not just for you to embody the balance, but you're bringing balance to the situations that were even out of balance by your action, by your work. That's what they're saying. So literally, can you feel it? They are uh, supporting your engine to go. Action, 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 right to your cornucopia, right to more happiness. Take those action steps, do that work. But yeah, we're leaping out of this standstills and everything. Look at the aligned action. So that's what you can. Can you feel it? The angels are right behind you when you're doing that work. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? That's all that's going to matter. Um, I love how this card is even 11. I mean, like this is, this is where they're moving you. So beautiful. And look at all the green. It's so much green. So much, ooh, so much green. This is so beautiful. So yeah, it's like do the work, take the action steps. It's bringing it in. It's bringing it in. Look at that. You are a star. Step into the spotlight where you belong. Take those steps. Get on out there. It's you doing the work here. They're going to show you that. So step on out. Action, action. Now's the time to jump on a goal. You're attracting success. So be in that light. Be in that movement. Step out there. Um, and do the work and take pride in your excellent work. That's a, and that's what they're saying. They're the can you feel it? They're the ones behind you as you're doing the work and taking the action steps. Yes, yes, yes. And hold us in your heart, not in your home. It's okay to declutter. You could be letting go of a lot of things because they were like recharge and stay balanced and do the work. And as you're like they said, can you feel it? Hold us in your heart um, as you're doing the work and the action steps. You could also feel that you're letting go of a lot of things as you're moving forward also. Um, you step out there. Hold us in your heart, not in your home. It's okay to declutter another 1111. 
11 and 11. I just feel like hold them in your heart as you're going, as you're taking the action steps, as you're doing the work. There's something about that. It's keeping you in balance. It's keeping you lit doing the work. So just feel very much that on the bottom of the deck is guardian angel itself. Trust all unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, your guardian angel, am watching over you, watching over you as you do the work. Can you feel it? Watching over you as you do the work. Stay lit. Watching over you. It's quite literally watching over you. I've never read the bottom of the deck before. Both pink cards. This is your guardian angel. Yes, I'm watching over you. Watching over you. You're one. Hold us in your heart. I'm putting this right here. It's all manifesting. Here's your cornucopia. Here's your happiness. They are with you as you're making the moves and doing the work. I don't know what else to say. I'm putting that right here. I'm blown away by that. I don't, I don't even, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I have chills all over my body. I might even name it that. Can you feel that? That's the support um, as you're doing the work. So can you feel it? It's support as you do the work, as you do the actions. It's bringing in more happiness here. Um, and there's something about that that's just going to help you take the action steps in itself to feel that, that they are watching over you, that uh, they are telling you, you know, stop the procrastination, make those moves, do the work. It's bringing in your cornucopia. It's the invitation. Wow, wow, wow. We have affirmation, love, invitation. So you have guardian angel, affirmation, love, invitation. This is so beautiful. We read the guardian angel here as you're doing the work and taking the action steps to bring in your cornucopia, more abundance, more happiness. They're with you. They're literally watching over you and keeping you lit to do the work, literally. So you're going to feel that. Can you feel that? They are with you. Affirmation, be aware of your language and thoughts. The most powerful statement you can ever make, think, or feel is thank you. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. They're keeping you lit for that. They're bringing you back to that also. Be grateful for all the blessings in your life. As we acknowledge the divine order of the life, the universe responds with ever greater blessings. They're saying as you're doing the work, in it comes. As you pour out, here it comes. Um, because the universe is responding with ever greater blessings. You are a powerful creator and all you say and think resonates through the heart of creation and creation responds accordingly. They want you to know it's responding to you. This is 11. Like as you're pouring this out, doing the work and action steps, it's responding. It is responding with this cornucopia and the 10 of uh, Raphael. Okay. That is the love. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. Going back to this card, when you don't move and you don't take the action steps and you don't feel lit, well, your angels are here to help you heal. And that's going back to here. They're healing you. And the angel of balance here, this is Archangel Raphael, where we're literally allowing our healing light. We're here to help you heal. They're keeping you lit and healing you as you do the work and move forward. Allow our healing light to flow through your heart. See how it's lit in his heart? Consciously infuse each negative thought or feeling with love and light and feel both your heart and mind aligning to your soul's sacred purpose and unleash your divine potential through this power of love. And that is why this is working because you're aligned, you're, you, they're keeping you lit, they're keeping you uh, doing the work and taking the action steps. That is part of the healing within. Like they said, can you feel it? Support for your engine. Support for you doing the work. Um, that's love. So keep. that's what they're saying. So unleash that because that's actually the universe. They're responding to that and giving you a lot of happiness and abundance. Cornucopia from this work and action. And here's that. That's the invitation. That's literally the invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal for we have known you before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself and we love you just as you are. We love you just as you are. Here's the love. We love you just as you are. This is your guardian angels affirming the love and they love you just as you are. 
the, the work that you're doing and the action that you're doing is literally bringing the happiness and abundance in. And it is like, here's your cornucopia, here's your happiness. Um, that's what they want. So get on out there is everywhere. And anytime you need to recharge your batteries, you do so because they're keeping you lit for this. Can you feel, it's ending how it began. Can you feel it? Their support for your engine. <laughs> support for your engines. That's how they started. That's how they're ending. They're keeping you lit for the work and the aligned movement that you're doing to bring this in. And here's your cornucopia and happiness. So it's getting you out of the back and forth or over analyzing in your mind so much. It's ending the procrastination, putting off things. This is literally taking action, surrender procrastination and take that action. Oh, look at all the green. It's leading to the cornucopia. So they're affirming they're affirming you, like get out out there and keep doing the work and they're keeping you lit for it. And it's going to bring you happiness and more abundance. Um, I wish you the best. This is going to go on beyond the week. Can you feel it? It's support for your engines. It's support for keeping you lit, doing the work, and it's bringing more in. So this is definitely powering you forward, support for your engines to do the work, to take aligned action, bringing in more happiness and your cornucopia. Um, that's the invitation. And they're really pouring out this love and affirming you all along the way, not just in this reading, but like, can you feel it right behind you as you're doing the work to stay lit and keep doing the work? Because that's, that's what they're saying. Can you feel it? We're supporting your engine. And look at the action. It's like supporting your engine and keep making the action steps and doing the work. Definitely keep bringing in more happiness and your cornucopia. So I wish you, I put the cornucopia right there. I wish you the best for the first week of April. Take care. Bye-bye.